The knife industry is decidedly right-hand dominant, and that's shown pretty much across the board, except I realized today that there is one lock type that is significantly better for left-handers than it is for right-handers, the button lock. And today I want to prove to you why, if you're left-handed, you want one of these. The idea for this video came after I had my wife try and manipulate this knife. This is the Drop Bear, and it is a phenomenal piece, but I realized very quickly that it is not a, well, easy level knife. And while I was helping explain to her how to hold the knife to be as safe as possible without dropping it, I made a simple realization. When we use a crossbar or when we unlock it, we need to have some kind of pressure on both sides of the knife. Now, I'm pretty good at holding it basically just with the clip, but that takes a lot of dexterity and a lot of practice and the, as well as the confidence to not drop it. That is not something that's easy to do. Now, there are locks out there, and I'm going to showcase two of them, that are decidedly ambidextrous. They are equally, equally I should say, uh, easy for both right-handers and left-handers. That doesn't mean they're necessarily easy, only that they are the same for both. An example of this would be something like a back lock, which is having the lock right centered. And this is going to be the same way to manipulate it, whether you're on the left or the right. So no big deal. Now, it doesn't mean it's easy to close. It just means that it's the same. Now, something that's a little bit more exciting is the shark lock, which notice the way you grip it. And this is kind of what had me thinking about the button lock. I have a perfect stability with my thumb on one side, my middle finger on the other, pinching the knife. And by pinching the knife, I have a lot of stability, meaning it's very easy to both open and close the knife safely and confidently. When you use a button lock right-handed, what happens? So if I go, I have to lift I have to lift my thumb, which is this stabilizing component on this side, to move my hand up and push the lock. Now notice, not only that, it's not even directly across. But if I switch and try to do this, look at what happens. I have my right and left sides, both of them are stabilized. And look at the position of the button. It's perfectly in line with the natural orientation of my pointer finger. Now, I'm not decidedly practiced, and I think this is why most of us realized or missed this. We've been saying, and I'm not the only one, that it's as easy to manipulate left-handed as right-handed, but we've been saying it as people who are right-hand dominant. We should have probably realized that if it's as easy to use for our left hands and we're right-hand dominant, then maybe it's easier than we think. And I think I finally figured out why that is, because we have that stability. You can hold the knife with just these two fingers and you're good to go. So having the pointer finger do it instead is a big bonus. Using the shark lock, think about it. I have to kind of rotate my finger in a slightly different orientation to get access. There is argument, in fact, that the button lock is more friendly to left-handers than even the ambidextrous lock. What I'm saying here in this very short video is that left hand that button locks as they're currently designed are more favored towards left-handers than right-handed individuals isn't that kind of exciting so this is my recommendation if you are left-handed definitely get yourself a button lock i think you're going to find it is absolutely designed for you just make sure that it does have a reversible pocket clip because not all of them come with one they come with a right-handed clip even though as we just stated <laughs> it's easier for you than it is for a right-hand dominant individual. So how cool is that? Button locks are designed for left-handers. Maybe they didn't mean it that way, but it is actually more stable to hold the knife left-handed and actuate the button with the pointer finger than it is to manipulate it while moving your finger to the thumb. Once again, you're having to stabilize the entire knife with the palm of your hand and the four fingers. So... Very interesting. Not a very long video here. Just a quick, just, just a brain dump. I, I had to get this out because, frankly, this is something they're not talking enough about. A lot of people are upset because everything is so right-hand dominant. Well, 
by accident, I think that the, the button lock is very much decidedly left hand favorable. Anyway, thank you very much for your time, and we'll talk again soon.